Hello, this is Sophie from Native Instruments. In this video, I'm going to show you how to map multi-velocity samples to single pads using Machina Studio. This is a useful feature for producers, sound designers, and especially for performing musicians, as it allows you to trigger different or multiple samples with a single pad. This video focuses on showing you how to use this feature specifically in pad mode, which is optimal for finger drummers and people who don't require to play samples in a melodic way. You can find another video which focuses on doing the same in keyboard mode, in which you can play the samples melodically. To map multi-velocity samples to the pads, first use the sampling mode of Machina. Then choose Zone and load your first sample by clicking Add. In our example, we're going to load a clap, cymbal and a snare. Here we're first loading a clap sample named Clap 808X by navigating with the jog wheel and the function arrows below it, choosing Sample and loading it by pressing the jog wheel. Now we'll browse to the fifth menu screen by clicking the right page button four times. This is a screen that lets you load samples to different zones with varying key and velocity ranges. In this video, we'll be showing you how to use this feature only with the pad mode, so there's no need to change the key range. If you wish to play notes in keyboard mode, refer to the other video in the about section of this video. Set the desired velocity with knobs three and four. Here we're setting it so the velocity ranges from 71 to 110. Now click Add to add a second sample. Here we're choosing a symbol named China Central V4 and loading it by pressing the jog wheel. This time we're setting the velocity range from 97 to 127. Finally, we're clicking Add and loading the third sample. This time a snare named Rimshot London. Now we're setting the velocity range from 0 to 70. Please note that when using Machina this way, the amplitude envelope type affects how the sample's amplitude will change over time. You can adjust this setting by leaving the sampling mode, browsing to page 2, and adjusting type with knob 4. When set to ADSR, you're able to control how long you want the samples to be played. If you set it to one shot, the samples always play until their end when triggered. This setting affects every mapped sample on the pads. In this case, we recommend setting it to ADSR. Now we can play with the samples. When hitting the pad with a velocity of 70 or below, we only hear the third sample, which is a snare. When hitting the pad with a velocity between 71 and 97, we only hear the first sample, which is a clap. When hitting the pad with a velocity between 97 and 110, we hear both the clap and the cymbal. When hitting the pad with a velocity of 110 or above, we only hear the cymbal. Next, you can repeat the same procedure for the rest of your Machina Studio pads, loading multiple samples and setting your preferred velocity ranges for each one. From the Preferences menu Hardware tab, you're able to control the sensitivity of the Machina controller pads. Below the sensitivity setting, you can also choose a different value for velocity scaling. By choosing soft, a soft touch is enough to get a big velocity value. When set to hard, you have to play more forcefully to get a big velocity value. Play around with these settings and find the right sensitivity and velocity scaling setting for your use. Please note that if you want to replace samples without changing previously defined zone settings, you'll need to do this in the software using your mouse. You can check the manual for a more detailed explanation of all sample editing capabilities in Machina. Feel free to load your own samples and experiment with different velocity ranges to get the most out of this useful feature. 